In this video, I will provide you with something that you might not be aware of, and that's the fact that you can install more drainage fixture units on a pipe that is sloping more. And even though it doesn't make any difference for a one and a half inch pipe that allows a maximum of three fixture units, whether the pipe is sloping a quarter of an inch or a half inch per foot. And this means that the pipe will be dropping down vertically a half inch for every one foot or 12 inches. The pipe travels horizontally. However, it will make a difference if you have a two inch pipe where the minimum slope is going to be a quarter of an inch per foot. However, if you slope it a half inch per foot, you're going to be able to add another five fixture units. And I do have another video on that. I'll put a link in the video description box to it. And a lavatory sink for a bathroom is usually going to be one fixture unit. So for a two inch pipe sloping a quarter of an inch per foot, I'm allowed to have 21 fixture units or 21 individual lavatory sinks. However, if I slope this pipe another quarter of an inch per foot so that I can get a half inch per foot slope in it, I can add five more lavatory sinks. And I know this doesn't sound like that big of a deal. However, these numbers increase a lot once we start increasing the diameter of our pipes. So for example, a three inch pipe sloping an eighth of an inch per foot can have 36 fixture units. However, if it's sloping a quarter of an inch per foot, it can have 42 units. Half inch per foot, 50 units. And even that might not sound like that big of a deal. However, if we go to a four inch pipe and we slope it an eighth of an inch per foot, we can have 180 drainage fixture units. A quarter inch per foot, 216. A half inch per foot, we can add another 70 fixture units for a grand total of 250 drainage fixture units. Now that's a big number. By increasing the slope from an eighth of an inch per foot, to a half of an inch per foot. And of course, I will put the building code reference numbers in the video description area also. And don't forget to check with your local building department to make sure that your building codes are the same as the building codes mentioned in this video.